Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through the process of changing the wallpaper for LightDM. Now, if you don't know what LightDM is, it's a, basically it's the screen you get to when you want to log into your system. Now, not everyone uses LightDM. So if you're using a GNOME-based system, you're probably using GDM. And if you're using just a KDE system, you're probably using SDDM. Uh, so the process is going to be different for you. This is specifically for LightDM. I'm pretty sure LightDM is the most popular one. Could be wrong. It just happens to be the one that I'm using, so it's the one that I'm making a tutorial for. It's very easy, so this video shouldn't be taking very long. I will just say I will not be able to show you that this works because once I actually go through and log out, I'll, the recording will stop. So I will probably take like a picture of it and then just put it in the end or whatever or wherever I'm done and show you that it's proof of concept. Anyways, let's just go ahead and I'll just show you how to do this. So if I go over to the uh, desktop here and open up a terminal, we'll zoom in here. And what you'll want to do is cd into slash etsy and then light dm. Okay. And then if we do an ls here, we'll see there's some files. Now you won't have this file here um, because that's the wallpaper that I'm actually using. So uh, what you want to do is do sudo and then uh, you either use vim or nano vim and then you'll want to do this one here. So lightdm-gtk-greeter.conf and we'll enter that and then you'll enter your password right, and then you'll get this here. Now the background is the what you'll want to use as your background. Now the one I'm going to set is uh, it looks like this. So uh, I'm actually going to need the uh, the file name for that, which is this here. So the easiest way to get that is to copy the um, go into the properties and just control C this. Okay, and then what I'm going to want to do, what you're going to want to do is after you found the um, wallpaper that you want to use, you're going to want to copy that into that LightDM folder because LightDM can't view fo uh, any files or anything that's located in a user's home directory. It just doesn't have permissions to do so. So what we're going to do is just do cp, uh, in this case I'm going to do pictures-walls, and then that file, that file name that I had. And then I'm going to do it into C Etsy slash LightDM. I believe this is going to have to have sudo. That's because, why did I do CD instead of CP? Like, Because I'm a moron and I can't type. There we go. All right, anyways, now if we close this, we can close this and go back to five here. We can, at, we'll actually be able to see if we do, <clears throat> excuse me, if we'll do another ls, we'll see that that picture is now in our Etsy folder. So if I go back and then back in here and do slash light DM, and then we're going to, I'm just going to uh, delete to the end of the line here. And then we're going to want to have that file name there. And that's, so you, that's where the location of the wallpaper is. You just copy it into the Etsy folder and then escape insert mode, save this. So colon WQ. And then I will magically through the, to, through the uh, glories of video editing, put it a proof of concept here that it actually worked. And that's literally it. So this is maybe the shortest video ever, but if you use LightDM and you don't want to use the crappy Manjaro or Arch Linux or whatever wallpaper that comes with it out of the box, this is how you change it. And you can literally change it to anything. I would use one that's in the correct proportion. So in, ca in my case, I have a uh, 1920 by 1080p uh, screen. I just use one that's in that, you know, at least that aspect ratio because then I, I believe it stretches it out. I'm not sure, but if you just use one that's exactly the dimensions of your screen, you won't have to worry about weird stretching or black bars or whatever it might do. Because um, I'm not actually sure what we'll do if you'd use one that's the wrong size. I think it'd probably put black bars. Either that or it might stretch it out weirdly. Anyways, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification icons. I do Linux content. Linux content seven days a week. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.